Hey, what's up, YouTube? Avo Beast here. Today, I'm going to be bringing you another video on how to install Minecraft shaders with Optifine. It is compatible with Optifine for Minecraft 1.7.2. All right, so yeah, guys, if you follow this video perfectly like I do, you should end up with the same exact results I am. But remember, the mod still is in beta. It's just a more updated version that works with shaders. But it is slowly progressing in development. But it, you know, it won't work like. An amazing developed mod that is finished because it's just you know updated all right so yeah guys first what you want to do is go down in the link in the in the description should be a media fire link and download uh, the file that that link has and then uh, the file should be named minecraft shaders and optifine uh, 1.7.2 should be a zipped archive so just you, what you want to do is open that up <coughs> uh, should have a file saying all files just double click into that and that that folder saying all files should include these files right here alright so yeah guys uh, first what you want to do to get started with is uh, open up and install forage and all, all you need to do is double click it and if it doesn't open up this installer for you um, what you need to do is drag it to the desktop right click it click open with and choose Java Java should already be here and then uh, just open it through Java and it should work like that and delete that real quick it's already have it open alright so then what you want to do once you have this open is uh, click install client check it. it should already be checked for you and make sure you know this is going to your minecraft directory usually if you haven't moved it anywhere it should be this uh, default thing and then all you do is click OK it's installing forge it's there successfully installed forge and what you want to do after that is go to your uh, Minecraft directory and usually what you do is type in percent app data percent uh, hit enter on your keyboard and then it should pop up with dot Minecraft you go into that alright so then what you want to do is uh, create a mods folder if you don't already have one and uh, uh, double click into that yours will be clear mine isn't already since I've installed it then all you, uh, you need to do is drag and drop uh, Optifine and shaders mod core into your mods folder um, and then have make sure those are the only two mods in there so just drag and drop those into your mods folder um, leave it like that and go back to your minecraft directory and drag and drop the shader packs into your dot minecraft but I'm not going to do that because I already have the files in uh, my Minecraft, but yeah, you just drag and drop into dot Minecraft, and then you should be good. You can exit out of that, exit out of all the file stuff, open up your Minecraft, just let it open up. It should prompt you to log in, and then you just log in. Uh, it should have created a, a profile named Forage. And then all you do is go to that Forge profile. It should say ready to play 1.7.2 Forge. Make sure it says that. And uh, before I do start, um, let me step back for a second. Uh, the files that are in uh, Shader, the this folder that is on Mediafire, uh, I will constantly update the files to the latest uh, versions of uh, you know whatever the mod is for the latest latest version of Optifine. But only certain versions of Optifine do work uh, with the Shaders mod. Uh, not all updates do. So be sure to use uh, this exact op op Optifine that is given in the folder. Just use the exact files that are given uh, in the folder. You are allowed to change text uh, shader packs, so that shouldn't affect. But not all shader packs will work. All right, so any anyway, guys, make sure you have that Forge profile chosen. Click play. Load up your Minecraft. <clears throat> Let it load. There we go. It's opened up. Loading. Right, and then it should say uh, if you got Forge right, it should say all this stuff. You know, warning. Uh, the Forge there. And then uh, I'm gonna go join my server. The IP is mc.phantompvp.net. Uh, just to test the shaders and stuff. Alright, so yeah guys, uh, once you have installed it, uh, nothing will be changed directly in game. You should press escape, go to options, and if you uh, did everything in the video, right, as I explained, you should have shaders, and it should have a, 
It may have different uh, shader packs. I'll update the shader pack uh, folder as well, but it should have shader packs that you could change change to in the game. And then the video settings should include all this stuff. It should have way more video settings than normal, and what that is, that's Optifine. You could change your render distance to extreme, all that stuff. So there, that proves Optifine is working. We got shaders working. This all works for uh, 1.7.2. Yeah, these shaders don't seem... It's not that much. I will include different shaders in the description, so... I don't even think these work. But I'll have the right shaders included in the description. And let me try to get a pack working. Yep, these all... See, this... This is why it's in beta. Alright, this seems to be the only one working. and It's laggy. But yeah, guys, uh, if you have installed, you shouldn't, uh, uh, Optifine helps with the lines in the water. You shouldn't have any lines, as you can see. Let me go over here. See, no lines in the water. Alright, so yeah, guys, uh, yeah, if you have, you know, your Minecraft looking like this, not all shader packs will work on your computer, but most of them should. But if you have it looking like this, if you have the shaders button and, the uh, video settings like this, the Optifine video settings, that means you have done everything right, you have your shader packs, and everything should work. Alright, so yeah guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just uh, ask down below in the comments. I will be sure to reply. Alright, so yeah guys, thanks for watching.